high area is travelogy and more specifically bio -travelogy. <coughs> So, <coughs> as I said, travelogy is about friction, wear, lubrication, adhesion problem. And these kind of problems will be seen in, for example, gears. So in gears, you have to turn these gears at very, very high contact to stress. And anything to do with the surface stress will lead to failure at the surface. So we often we are trying to solve the problem of failure okay, we, because we don't want these gears to fail so often. As you can see in the cars, you, you, when you buy a new car and uh, gears just keep running, you don't have to worry about that because they have been designed so well now after having studied for, for many, many years that you don't see any problem, hardly there is any problem of the gears. Okay? So, all those comes from the travelogical studies that people have performed. <clears throat> it goes into the lubrication, also it goes into the materials themselves, also on the surfaces, how, what kind of surfaces you will design. Then um, bearings. So this is an example of journal bearings. So there are many places where journal bearings, that means there is no ball bearing, it, it's just two, well, the shaft is inside the bush and the shaft is rotating okay, and with some lubrication. Again, there are very, very specific, many new things coming up in this field. Okay. Uh, <coughs> magneto bearings and textured bearings, those kind of new innovations are coming. So, in fact, some of our colleagues are studying those parts. So, this is a, just a typical example of journal bearing, but there are a lot of new things coming up. Okay. Uh, <coughs> then, uh, rolling element bearings, so ball bearings uh, uh, and rolling different types of rolling element bearings are also there. So that is also part of the tribology. So again, in all cases, we are trying to design these kind of bearings so that we can avoid failure. So our focus is to avoid failure. So examples uh, of tribology, uh, tribological applications are in railway. Railway is uh, full of tribological issues. Uh, this is, gives you uh, the interaction between the wheel and uh, the rail. So, what should be the friction? Okay, should the friction be too low or too high or in between? So, that kind of things we have to know what kind of surfaces we should have. So, this is just one example of uh, tribology in railway. Uh, in cars or uh, many places, I see injury, internal combustion injury, uh, as loss of moving components and therefore loss of travelogical issues here. So there are specific ways of um, lubricating the, the machine, the engine part. Okay? And in fact, if you take a lot of interest in this field, you will see that there are a lot of innovations that can be done. <coughs> Other travelogical uh, problems you will see uh, between the tire and the road. Okay. So, how the tires are designed. For example, even your bicycle tires or even your shoes. Shoe soles are how they are designed. What kind of materials you should have so that we can have good amount of friction, but at the same time we avoid wear because we don't want wear. Especially in the sports field, there are lots of uh, application of travelogical. Um, principles, just increasing friction, uh, re reducing wear, and so on. <coughs> uh, nowadays, even people are designing very, very small micro machines, machines which are only within uh, less than one millimeter in dimensions. Okay? So those kind of micro machines will have adhesion problem. If two surfaces will just adhere to each other, they will not leave because of too much of surface forces acting. So how can we solve that problem? So that is another application of travelogy. <coughs> so these are all some general examples. Um, but what I do and what my students do are travelogy of the human body. <coughs> so now thinking is that our body is also a machine. There are a lot of mechanical things, mechanical systems, and if we study the mechanical part of the body very um, carefully, perhaps we can solve some of the problems. Some many of the medical problems can be solved by approaching it from engineering point of view, <coughs> from you know, without using any any medicine. You just use the the body itself. 
and the body solves its own problems. So, but there are a lot of issues in the body that we you know, needs to be taken care. Of. For example, eye, you know, eye dryness or eye problems, eye, you know, eye implants are needed. Dental implant, dental is a, is a big area for travelers' applications. <coughs> Shoulder implants, even in the heart, artificial heart, the the valves they they move and there will be problem of adhesion. <coughs> okay. So that. Uh, again, that is also travological issues. The hip implant um, in our hip, when it turns out to be um, some issues, then some people unfortunately <coughs> get an implant, and these implants should have certain properties. So that is another thing: knee implant and feet implant. So my students work on hip implant. Um, and more specifically, so for example, the hip implant looks like something like this, and here we have got the polymer part and the metal part. Okay? Without going into the detail, the issue is that the polymer part and the metal part are interacting with each other in a sliding uh, condition. Okay? They slide against each other. That is just like uh, how our uh, hip bones work. So if it is artificial material like implant, then there will be wear. And these wear particles, where will they go? They will have to be accommodated within the body. And as you know, the body doesn't like any kind of foreign elements, foreign particles. So the body will react <coughs> and eventually the implant will fail. So which is a not a good situation for the patient because the patient has already undergone this implant uh, and then again revision of the implant is is not an easy thing. Okay? So, idea is to avoid this failure by reducing the wear, almost getting wear to zero, zero wear. Okay? So, so, this uh, just highlights how the wear particles will be created. And these wear particles actually can travel from the joint to some other parts also because the body is a very dynamic thing. And uh, so, it creates a lot of issues in the body. And that's why our focus is to find a suitable polymeric material. I focus on the polymer part, the polymeric material, so that we can reduce wear from what it is currently. So these are the uh, design requirements, uh, specific wear rate, reducing the wear rate, uh, volume reduction. Um, then trying to lubricate, how to lubricate the, the contact surface. Implant dislocation to avoid the implant dislocation because sometimes these implants may get dislocated because of certain <coughs> situations. So, how, what kind of materials, what kind of design we can have here, and a lot of emphasis that we are putting on is trying to find new biomaterials, new materials that can be used for this specific application. So, again, I cannot go into the detail. One uh, good thing that our students have done is they have designed a very new machine, a new machine for biotravological research. So we started from scratch and again you can see how research will give you that kind of opportunity to design something new that is working. So this machine is doing biotravological tests that uh, in India, um, I mean you, you can buy such kind of machine very very expensive but this is a new new design. And I will just show you the operation of this one. Yeah. <coughs> so this is a multi, what is called multi-directional uh, sliding. So one element is rotating, another element is translating. <coughs> so the whole thing, you, you see it's in the lab and you are all welcome to come to the lab and, and see it. So this is a model experiment for the hip implant. Uh, you know, of course, it goes on to do more experiments, but this is the starting point. So this uh, machine is uh, bare and fully functional. Again, I, I do not go into the details of these data, but all I can say is we are trying to find out uh, friction, uh, trying to design new uh, low friction materials, low wear materials, and that we have been successful in this field. <coughs> uh, 
So again, there is no time for discussion on this. So there are some publications. Um, yeah, all that come from PhD student, but I think this one, Asa, was an MTech student. So even MTech student, and I do have the uh, paper with uh, uh, Sanmuki, who who was undergraduate student. So please, uh, yeah, do get excited about research through Sura. Thank you. Thank you very much.